the Pleiadian Council of Night. Introduction Message. As channeled by Wes Atnack. April 6, 2012. Note from Wes. Through some amazing circumstances, I have become familiar and gained a connection with the Pleiadian Council of Night, and agreed to bring them through as they wish to begin giving introductions of themselves and explanations about their council and what they are doing for Earth. This message is only the beginning of such introductions. We are the Pleiadian Council of Night, and we speak to humanity at this time with the purest intents and expressions of love, being sent to you dear beautiful souls through our heart chakras and through our many other universal chakras. You are developing new chakras and energy systems in yourselves that are opening you up to the energies that see so very many souls on earth able to feel our energy and bring it through themselves. And as this happens naturally more and more of you open up to the communications and connections that we have been attempting to make with many of you for some time. We have spoken through this instrument before, and routinely do so through the beautiful soul known as Sanjasco. This soul Sanjasco has been speaking for us and for the Pleiadian High Council alike as a whole, and we have been pairing certain aspects of the collective consciousness established by each and every being prevalent in both of these councils to speak collectively through not only a fellow ascended soul, but through the instrument and technology we have established here on our motherships, which is different from the instrument on earth bringing our message through who is known as our scribe. We are speaking to you now collectively through a soul who is representing us and our council to the scribe bringing us through, and the job of this soul who is representing us to our scribe has been to prove and validate our energy signature to our scribe, for proof that we are who we say and give our scribe impressions that we are, rather than being lower dimensional entities in Earth's astral planes who would be looking to deceive and pretend to be lighted organizations and souls who they are not. We require nobody on Earth to blindly follow and believe us or our words simply because we tell you that we are ascended, but at the same time wish to let you know of the ascended nature of our reality for this ascended nature is to become an overall aspect of your own reality so very soon as you are reaching now the states and planes of consciousness that are initiating you into your galactic, cosmic and universal consciousness, as a collective species and as individual soul fragments of the one divine creator. Your consciousness is localized when it comes to the perceived splitting up of your collective links, and while the illusion of separation is fed continually on earth you are still all connected and united through your collective consciousness and your collective unconscious alike, and the bonds that you share with each other are to spring forth into your perception and awareness, and along with this happening will come the realization of the aforementioned localized areas of your collective consciousness. The physical areas of your world in which you live, bind together the souls who are living in such areas together and the energies being federal to Mother Earth are themselves localized through each area and aspect of her surface. You are all united in a planetary, national and local sense but the weather patterns and events that are to manifest in any given area are at all times up to the collective consciousness of that specific area, rather than the energies of a soul in an area far away, affecting the weather of an area in which they do not live. There are exceptions to this rule however, such as when one has moved away from a place or area on Gaia's surface that they have been close to and still think of, feel in themselves and remember the energies of your thoughts guide the areas of your own creation that you wish to experience and feel, and upon feeling back to the area or home of one, one begins to influence and affect the manifestations and weather patterns occurring in such an area. These truths and so very many other truths are why we are here at this time, speaking to humanity through many scribes and soon, speaking to you directly and through your news media. While this communication from us has been considerably short in the ego-based view of our scribe, we have wished only to give a simple introduction of ourselves and who we are, as have many lighted souls and organizations at this time. We have also wished to share a bit of insight with you and a bit of our own musings and things that we have noticed in relation to your lower dimensional experience. We will be one upon many, many organizations from beyond your world and perceptual experience who will be introducing ourselves, not just through scribes but again through your televisions and to you personally. This will not be the first time this has happened to your world and to the majority of you incarnate on your world, as we and many other souls alike have made such contact numerous times as you are beginning to hear of and remember, and even before such times. We were making contact with your various civilizations, 
we were with you in Atlantis and Lemuria, living peacefully and happily in such joyous times before deception on the road such beautiful energies and potentials for a mass collective ascension. We care for humanity deeply for we are the ascended forms of many souls who have once ascended on the surface of Earth and may contact with the various galactic civilizations assisting in the ascension of your world at this time, some of which we have chosen to join and aid in their lighted efforts. Ascending from the surface of Earth, especially during considerably darker times in her history, has been absolutely no picnic and many awakening souls in many darker times of your history faced persecution and even outright death for their views and realizations of the reality around them, because control has been enforced so very much in your history and in many cases, in the current period of time you find yourselves in as well. We will now choose to make our exit partly because of the energy constraints of our scribe and partly because we have not wished to overwhelm you with such a long message while initially introducing ourselves to you. We have much more to share with you about our origins and our relation to Earth besides what we have shared with you at this time, and we have many more pure encodements of energy to grace each and every soul reading our communications and feeling our energies with. Thank you to the Pleiadian Council of Night. A channel by Wes Abnack. Website. Wes Amac.com. Website. Aquarius Channel